Well, hi, everybody. Uh, this is Rob Wheeler from Cookville First United Methodist Church. I'm one of the pastors here. Um, generally on Wednesdays, you hear from Dr. Kevin Conrad, who's our senior pastor, in the form of one of his grace notes. This is not a grace note. I don't really know what to call this other than me saying hello. That's not a great title. Um, but today's March 3rd. Um, it's the anniversary of the day when that early, early morning when those awful tornadoes um, ripped through our community. It's been a hard year in a lot of ways, and it's been an especially hard year for the people around us who lost someone close. We are continuing as a church to pray for you, remember you, um, and we hope that you have found comfort in the people around you and in the good grace of God. Um, I want to share two verses with you. First um, is verse six and se well, first verses six and seven from the 30, 32nd Psalm. Excuse me. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. At a time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. Selah. Selah is that old ancient Hebrew, Hebrew word that's, that uh, comes along with several of the Psalms uh, in the Bible. It's an interesting word. It's hard to translate, and, and folks see it as, as meaning two things. One, it's a word of praise, saying thank you at the end of a prayer. But also, it's a word that, stand, that means contemplation or meditation, which allows the words that we've just said to enter into our hearts and change us. Um, I pray that today, as we remember and observe and think on all those people and all the trouble that we've been through, that, that we can find moments of Selah in our lives today moments where we could pause and take in God's goodness, God's protection, and the word that God wants us to know. Um, so I could keep going on and on and on, but just know that uh, we're praying for you here at Cookville First. Uh, we love our community. We love you. You are invited to be with us anytime. And I want to end this way. We've joined with other churches in our community, um, ringing, the, ringing our bells um, 19 times at 148 in the afternoon. Um, in honor of those people that we lost that terrible evening. So um, I could keep talking, but I think those bells um, will say more than I ever could say. So God bless you. Thanks for your time, and we hope to see you soon.